Hey, I'm Steve Mignotti here in El Paso, Texas at MSD Performance. Now, we all know that the power grid ignition system is a very potent ignition system, but it's also an excellent tuning tool. We can control timing, launch RPM, cylinder timing, and much more, but it's also an excellent data acquisition tool. Well, I'm here with Joe Pondo from MSD Ignition. Joe, what are, what are the many bits of information we can actually take out of the unit? Well, the unit records 17 channels of information. It's going to record engine RPM, your nitrous controls when you turn on the nitrous. It's going to actually tell you timing. Uh, if you have the traction control unit, it'll tell you your dry shaft, how fast it went, whether we need to adjust it or not, your rev limiters. Uh, there's a whole lot of information that's going to record. That's great. Now, at the end of the pass, how do I take the information out of the unit and put it onto my laptop? That's a good question. It's got, a, uh, it's got an SD card built into it, so you can take, it'll record all the information, and then after the run, you can download that information either by extracting the SD card from the, from the unit or connecting your laptop to the unit and pull the information out. And for those who have a race pack, we simply send it to the race pack. Now, the process of doing that, I guess some guys are a little confused. What are some of the classic problems that people encounter when they try to download the info? Well, that's when we get the phone call from the racetrack is the customer wants to send us the information and trying to get that information from the SD card and sending it to us through via email, that's the challenge. And that's what we're going to work on today. Well, Joe, this is pretty exotic stuff, or it could be seen that way. Do you have to run a Pro Mod car, or could I run this in my high 11 second Nova? No, it's, it's legal in every NHRE class from stock all the way to alcohol. Okay. Okay, let's say I just made a pass, get to the end of the track, I've got this data from that pass. What's the best way for me to take that data and download it? Oh, let me show you. It's pretty easy. You can either extract the card and pull the data out of, off the card and through a card reader, or you can go connect your laptop to it and simply hit F7. And right here it shows you in chronological order all the runs that you've made. It'll store all these runs from one pass to the other. Uh, let's just extract the last one, turn all the, all the X's off. We'll just pull the last run off, pull it up. Right there it's transferring it. Now something that's important that for in the future, if you're diligent enough to uh, fill out this information, it'll be easier to find files by weather or by runs. Uh, so you'll be able to do that. So all the information's there. Once you've opened that file, we also do a lot of work for you for, for the future. If you want to look at those files, we simply store all that information in my documents okay. under MSD, and every time you open up those files, we'll put them in a folder for you so that you can look at them in the future. You go into Start, My Documents, you'll find the MSD folder there, MSD Review, 7730 and by day every time you open up a file we pack those in there for you so you can find them relatively easy you sometimes i have to say at the top of each gear i hear a little bit of a rattle but i can't be sure can i can i learn from this where the rattle's happening detonation yeah, absolutely it, it's going to show us what the timing did going down the racetrack and you just simply click on timing and there it is on top of that we can zoom in and see what the actual timing was at that time well, Joe, I'm fairly savvy with my racing. I know what to do and kind of savvy with my computer. But sometimes I'll be looking at what I see on the playback and I might have a question about maybe ignition timing or something that happened. How do I download that file out of my computer and email it to you at MSD so you can review it and give me some pointers on my tune-up? Very simple. Like I said, we save all the files in my documents. We do this for you. So it defaults to it defaults my documents. Anytime you open a file, it's okay. going to save it for you by day. We go to MSD. We go to MSD Review, 7730, and that's where your file is. Okay, now a question, 7730, is that the part number of the... Uh, yes, the that's your power grid ignition. That's the, okay. that's the part number for the product. Okay, so okay. As, I, as I program and enter this to my computer, the MSD power grid unit will actually create a folder yes, in my we're documents. Yes, create it for you. Do it you for me. Have to I don't do have to do it. anything other than view the file. Okay. We're going to save it for you, and this is where you're going to find it. Okay. okay. And then let's say, for example, right here, we open up this, this is the file. Okay. Now let's say you want to email it to me. Very simple, right click, and then again, we're using Windows Outlook, mail recipient. So send, send to, send mail, to recipient. mail recipient. There's the email file. And what is the address that people send their files to for evaluation at MSD? You can send them to us at msdtech at msdperformance.com. Okay, if I want to send the attachment but I don't have Outlook, what do I do? 
then you simply open up your email and just like you're gonna get an attachment where the file is located is under my documents under MSD MSD review and the 7730 folder that's where all the files are gonna be just simply open that folder up and it'll have all the runs and pick the one that you want to attach that to your email okay and then I send it off to you and you guys the wizards tell yeah. me what I'm doing right or wrong yes we can help you in that well, that's how to retrieve and share data from the power grid. Step by step, it's pretty easy. Well, Joe, if there's further questions, how can people get a hold of you? They can reach us at 915-855-7123. That's our tech line. Thanks, Joe.